The vibrant colors of the Great Barrier Reef don't pop like they used to because its coral is fading fast. Scientists researching Australia's underwater ecosystem found 91% of the areas they visited this year experienced bleaching. One told CBS News. This is heartbreaking, this is deeply troubling. It shows that our barrier reef really is in very serious trouble indeed. A summer heat wave that dragged on and on along with warming waters from climate change are to blame. This is the fourth time in seven years mass bleaching has hit the world's largest coral reef system. It's always sad because I feel like this shouldn't be happening. We, we should have been able to fix this. Climate activists are urging Australia's government to do something now to stop the reef's destruction. It is climate change that is driving the bleaching of the reef. Uh, climate change itself being driven, of course, primarily by the burning of coal, oil and gas. Scientists hope most of the coral can recover, but say the reef's survival is in jeopardy. If we have any shot of a living reef in future, we have to be bringing emissions down very quickly through the 2020s. Because of the damage, the United Nations Cultural Organization, UNESCO, is considering downgrading the Great Barrier Reef's world heritage status because of the damage from climate change. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.